Good morning, guys. It's day two in Portugal. It's raining pretty bad again, but this time we have a plan because we're going to Nazare. It's currently 8 30 in the morning and we're about to head out in like 30 ish minutes I'm so excited because I'm actually going with some people in this surf camp. I kind of made friends with so to new adventures <laughs> This is breakfast. We got grapes yeah, and granola bowl yeah. Well, they told me like once all right guys. We just packed our car. I'm here with Annika <laughs> Agnes. My board fits perfectly. So that's a win. I was just telling them I was like like god damn it this like car people they sold me on like getting an upgrade because initially I was gonna get a Fiat 500 but now if it's friends and my board so yeah. might have been worth it we're gonna go to Nazare it's an hour and a half drive wait I forgot my water bottle one second again <laughs> I want a grape <laughs> oh I have chips too if you guys want you're so prepared I know she was prepared or whatever oh I love them that's German oh really is it good I think it's German it's very no good. I love them represent them represent the Germans <laughs> more than this strip. <laughs> okay, we're good. We made it. The board's safe. You're safe. So when the wind first picked up, what did, were you guys thinking? I was just thinking it was going to pass. It was going to be any yeah, time. You were, you were like, it's, it's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just laughing. I thought it was really funny and then it just got worse and worse. You guys weren't panic at all? No. Um, not really. I was mo mostly like trying not to pee my pants. I don't know. In crisis, I just laugh. It was really funny. Though. Like it was so <laughs> funny watching you walk <laughs> in your pants. Were, like it was really funny when I started to roll around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get that you were in panic because you had the board with you. It was the board. Yes, I, yeah. I can imagine that it made it like way harder. <coughs> At some point, I was like, I don't know how we're gonna get get out of here. Really? I'm proud of us guys. I'm so guys. It's so new bonding nice. experience. Yeah. yeah. Lisbon surf camp. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh Thank my you. gosh. This is insane. Got currently at Tia Gaia. Uh. What did you get? I got a, a vegetable soup. Oh it looks so good. I mean to be honest it looks like but it's very tell, fancy. It's very fancy. This is mine though like holy shit. Oh please hear that. Wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait come closer come closer. Do you hear that? Wow. Okay, a little bit of potato. Bon appetit. From one to ten, how good is it? I mean, I'm really hungry, but it is like a nine. A nine? If, I, if not a nine point five. Wow. What's what's underneath? The... I think underneath it is like um. Ooh. To be honest, I think it's spinach. I mean, it's spinach. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so smart. Good morning. It's day three. I'm having the weirdest morning. Like, I don't even <coughs> I don't even know how to explain it. So yesterday after Nazari, I just went to bed because I was feeling a little bit sick and I was just sleeping it off. I felt good this morning, but then weird shit kept happening. Like, God. So first, I tried to get to a coffee shop, but there was no parking. And to walk from the place I'm staying at to the coffee shop, it would have been like 17 minutes. It took me over 30 minutes to find parking. So that was one. Second of all, the place that I went to to get coffee was a recommendation from the guy who rented me the surfboard. I don't understand Portuguese and the entire menu was in Portuguese. So I just ordered something really random and I don't think I got what I should have gotten. Like I got a chicken and egg sandwich for breakfast. I was hoping for like a ham and cheese croissant or something in the morning. And then when I went to pay for the food, of course, they don't accept card. I had to go to an ATM and the transaction fees were so high. Then I wanted to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and once I got to the bathroom, I realized there was no lights inside the bathroom. Like for some reason it was pitch black dark. So I was like, 
basically doing my duties in the dark come to find out the lights are outside the bathroom i don't know why a lot of places are like in portugal apparently like they don't put the lights in the bathroom like you know in america that's how we do it like they put it outside the bathroom oh also because i couldn't see in the bathroom i snagged and broke my nail it hurts so i don't know if i should keep playing my luck but i really want to go to the beach and i just really hope that nothing else gets worse because it's just small things like i'm not having a bad day it's just like my morning was weird all right we're gonna go to the beach because i was recommended to go to this little spot that's 20 minutes away and i'm really excited so let's check it out I just had a crazy realization as I was driving here. So the rain in Portugal has been really on and off. Like sometimes it'll be like fucking hailing and pouring and sometimes it just like will go away in the span of like five minutes. And it made me realize that like one, when there's like a storm here, you can either do two things. You can either just like wait it out and like just stay in the same spot and like eventually the rain will go away. Or you can drive like five minutes to another spot and the rain will be like completely gone. It'll be sunny and shiny. And I thought about that in my life like so often when i have like a dark cloud above me like anxiety or sadness like i feel like it's gonna last forever earlier this weekend i think i told you guys like i just felt like i was so down like there's no surf i felt like i was wasting my time and i felt like really really unproductive and like lack of purpose but like i got up my ass and work like i got up my butt and like rented a car to make me feel better and it worked like i do feel better on sunday today i think sometimes if you're in a stage of your life where you can't do anything you can't just like pick up your ass and go like it's okay to wait it out because the rain will go away i just think that's a good metaphor and it's something that i just like have noticed and i feel really present right now i'm like looking at the beach in front of me it's oh what is going on with my car it's just so pretty and like i feel very introspective and that's just what's kind of on my mind today i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day trying to be as chill with the flow as possible because tomorrow we have a big surf day. I think I told you guys this, but like the past three days, the waves have been like ass like this. Um, so tomorrow's the first day where it's clean wind, the storm is over and I'm just really happy. <laughs> park i drove to this like really pretty spot and it's so windy but look at this view but look how pretty it is this is so gorgeous i will link below what this place is called because i'm honestly just driving around today it's just like my chill day but honestly i'm so glad i bought the rental car because to get to these places you could either go by bus like uber is like really not accessible especially like in this remote part so yeah it was really worth it i was kind of crying because it's so expensive but like this view is so worth it i just walked to this random part of this park and look at this one. Oh my lord um my parents are gonna kill me of how close i am to the edge but it's so pretty i don't think the camera does it justice it's like turquoise water this place is so pretty like what i like about national parks here in portugal is they're free parking's free there's not really admission to like get here unless you have a car and like it's just insane Good morning everybody it is day one of surfing i'm so excited like i've just been frothing at the lip every moment because i get to go surfing so essentially this is my surfboard i rented it from portugal surf rentals but there are two little chips so i'm going to quickly repair it with some resin cure if you guys don't know if you have a ding in your surfboard you can take some resin cure to fix it a little bit all right, we just finished the repair. Yep, we're good now. If you guys can't tell, I'm just like so excited to surf. I'm gonna get ready with you guys and show you everything that I bring. Okay, first things first, don't mind my laundry. These are all the bikinis I brought. So let's go pick one out. If you guys travel, you need these little like packing cubes. They make it so much easier to store your clothes and organize them. I'll link it on the description below. Our bikini on, and then I'm gonna put my surf poncho on top. I just wear it to the beach because I don't want to wear my wetsuit when I'm walking, so <laughs> let's go pack my beach bag now. First, my wetsuit. I like to put my wetsuit in another plastic bag because when it's wet, it can just be nice and sanitized here. Next, we have my surf bag essentials. If you guys watched my last vlog, 
you guys would see me pack all this stuff. There's just like hairbrush, sunscreen, all that stuff in there. And then I have my wax. Bringing sticky wax today because this is the stickiest wax. Then my surf hat, I need this. I'm putting the wetsuit in the bag. Oh my God, I'm like twinning with my bag. <laughs> you guys don't know how excited I am right now. I'm walking to the beach. It's currently 12, 10, my lesson's at 12.30. Everything so far has led up to this moment because the past few days I wasn't able to surf because of the weather. My last vlog, I kind of explained like what I've been doing. It was actually a big worry of mine that if I didn't surf for a week, I would be really weak when I come back. And it's probably going to be happen. Like I'm really hard on my body. Like I feel like if I'm not exercising every day, I'm not productive. I'm not like doing enough, but it was really healing just to rest the past week. And I'm going to come back. I might be rusty. I, I mean, I most likely will be really rusty, but that's okay. <gasps> Y'all, I'm at the beach right now. I see the wind. I am so excited, like... Good morning! How are you? Good, I'm so excited! I just finished my first surf session. I stood up like three or four times, but I only got one good wave which is okay i'm noticing how much better i am at talking to myself like before like six months ago if this were to happen to me i would be like oh my god i'm a shit surfer i suck ass like i just am so bad at surfing what am i doing but i'm noticing through therapy but all, and also like just being better at being compassionate with myself i'm a lot nicer to myself which is making me an actual better surfer who would have known right like if you're nice to yourself you actually can do better if you guys do want to be better at talking better to yourself a book that was really helping me was the self-compassion workbook it's actually what my therapist recommended so it works all right guys i just got my lunch did not realize in portugal they use bolts instead of uber eats it's like more native i guess i could be wrong but i got this on bolt and it was let me show you how much food i got and you're gonna guess how many euros it is so i got sushi <laughs> first to start out <gasps> They taped up so good. I didn't really eat that much for breakfast, so I'm just like. First, I got 10 gyoza. This is quite a lot. And then I got. <gasps> this packaging is insane. I'm gonna order here again later. This box is so nice. Then I got 24 piece sushi. Yes. How much all this was? 10 euros with delivery. I also tipped. I have to surf again in like an hour, so I'm just gonna go scrump this up and get on the road. Even though you have like a main section in front of you, okay, now you're already on the base of the wave, and I would have preferred since the beginning that you would have been a bit more here over the bucket of the wave. But wouldn't I have to do a sharper bottom turn to get up there or? No, because when you do a sharper bottom turn, you're taking speed off.